Come on, Kitty, get that hairball out. Finally! The time is now, Catnip Everdeen. Catnip Everdeen? I'm walking in there and knocking them dead. That doesn't sound good. Wait till they get a load of my carving skills. That doesn't look good. Here I come, Cafe Adams, ready or not. Freeze it! That looks even worse! No service! This hacking is cramping my style! No using the phone while driving! Say something! That silence is deafening! Everything okay? You're a great study partner, Kyle. How'd you do that? <laughs> I dabble in ventriloquism. Lazarus is coming. She'll be here any second. And she's packing up knives with their names on them. Like, full names. Big knives. Lazarus is coming. Here. Now. What? Well, this has been a great study session. Uh, we're done? Yeah. We got this, partner. Watch out, Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> AGB. <laughs> okay, bye. Yep. I'll see you at school. Bye. Mr. and Mrs. Petrelli, closing up early. Rapido, rapido. Andale. Take all the sugar. Andale. Vamos. Rapido. Have a nice day. Rapido. Andale. Come on. Ciao. Prepare for battle. Girls, it's game time. Welcome to Cafe Adams. Can I help you? I'm Carson Lazarus, your new chef. Our new what now? Chef. I spoke to Sophia Adams yesterday. That's my abuela. I'm Adri. So you are a new employee? That's right. I start today. You're 10 minutes early. Points for punctuality. Oh, look, your sugar's empty. Let me refill it for you. She's good. This may not be a good sign for their marriage. Adrian and Lazarus have been in the kitchen for a long time. Should we go in there? Not yet. Let's give them one more minute. I love this thing. <laughs> Mango coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? See that your pearls made from cold oil certification? Quedeta loca! Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced in yoga and I got stuck in the cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say a challenge. So, which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel. Got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze-dried options. Pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. Okay. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be... La cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like 
A souffle! These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens. 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <gasps> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. You've seen the danger. We have to destroy the prototype now. We've spent the last 10 years making great progress, James. We can't just throw it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Hmm. Addison. I'm up, I'm up! Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now. You will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. <sighs> Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long-range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be awake. Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. What a Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. Ah, my hand's cramping up. Screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. Uh, hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created... Created Maywood Glenn's very own vertical...
vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized control drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. Okay, uh, thanks guys. Um... Amazing, right? Okay, now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle, and they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal power, the ice and salt churn at a higher rate, creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone? Right in bandwidth? I remember. Drip is the new cool. And you would catch on. Hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, Brad and Science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. Michaela, I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's okay. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well, as a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Brian will be there. <laughs>